How's it going everybody? My name is Hazardous Daniel and welcome back to a rather special video because we're back with KSP1 and no this isn't the start to the KSP1 season 2 that I, is still coming don't don't worry about that but today when I was researching and doing some work for that series I discovered something that was I think a little bit of a bug. We've got our good friend Maldum there in the corner and he is, as we can see here, re-entering into Kerbin in our MK3 command pod. And this, you need the MK3 to be able to pull this off. So once our parachutes get open right now, there they go. Uh, what we need to do is impact the water at about 10 to 15 meters per second. And we're going a little bit slower than that right now. So I'm gonna cut some of these parachutes off after I time warp here. So just give me a moment on that. So yeah, cut one parachute off there, cut the other chute off just like so. And right before we impact, I'm gonna cut the final parachute so that we come in pretty hard. We wanna come in so we're hitting the water pretty hard, but not so hard that we actually explode. So right about now, just try to thread the needle. We got about 15 meters to the water surface. So 20, hold on, boom, right about there is where I wanna cut it. And you can see we hit the water pretty hard and Maldum's looking a little bit, uh, a little concerned there. And so the cool part about this is actually if we go into first person mode, you can see here, that everything's on fire inside. So I'm gonna get this fire extinguisher, we're gonna put this out, because obviously now, survival is the main goal here. And I think everything's out, perfect, awesome. Oh, we got ourselves a nice little PDA here. Yeah, obviously Altera has crashed, so we're gonna make our way over to that eventually, but, uh-huh. Zero human life signs remain. No big deal. I'm a human life sign that remains and that human life sign is gonna grab some peepers Because I know we've got like some water and some protein bars uh, in the life pod with us But I'm gonna save those for when we actually need them So I'm gonna try to cook up some bladder fish and some peepers here I'll just do these peepers for now and we should be ready to start our adventure Okay, just eat up these two peepers and that'll get us full to bursting and we should be ready to explore. Um, and I think instead of going down, I actually want to try to get over to one of the islands. I think I'm going to go to the floating island real quick because I can pick up some fruits there. We can get, we can get pretty ahead if we go to one of the land masses. Yeah, so if I can just manage to avoid any of the bad guys that are out here in kind of the deeper zone, then I should be safe. Just bring my way up to the surface, and we could even- Oh, I don't have my scanner yet, but that that's fine, because we'll just get some fruits and set up our base nearby. And- Oh shit, there's some skeletons. Okay, well, I'll take one of you out. Oh damn, I didn't bring my pistol. Um, well, okay. Gonna get kind of low on health there, but now that guy's dead. And I don't have any sort of treasure maps for this island, so... If that's the case, we could pick up one. Hey, snake, don't bite me. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Yeah, I'll see if I can't find myself a, uh, a map. Building up some- Ow! What the hell? Buddy, don't touch me, idiot! Blunderbust Joe over there. Hey, look at that. I got renown increase. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to try to find anything here. I think it might be something in one of those caves, but I'm gonna do one last pass around the island, see if I can't find a treasure map or something. No, nothing, nothing around the island, so I'm guessing the best course of action is go deep into here. What's up, snake? I'm gonna bop you in the head right there. And don't think I forgot about you, buddy. You're gonna get a little bit of a pop as well. There you go. No snake gets left behind when I'm around. I mean, this is a pretty robust cave system down here, and I wonder... Ooh, that kind of looks fun right there. It's kind of darker region over here with the mushrooms. I bet there might be something down in here. Although it is getting... Pretty dark down here. It's really dark, in fact. Can I get my flashlight out? What's the button for flashlight again? It's L, I think? Yeah, it's L. Awesome. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, boy. I got some babies on my hand. Okay. Oh, shit. It's locking time. Don't touch me. It's just a couple of babies. I can handle it, but they don't seem to be reacting well to my knife. I gotta get on my spear. Okay. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna poke you in the backside a little bit. Uh-huh. Stabby, 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 stabby. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's one of those guys. It's a muddy. It's a muddy fella, and I'm not, I'm not prepared for a muddy fella. Hey, stab. God, stab him. 
Why am I being, why am I so bad? Stab, okay, throw that at you. That's fine, you're still alive for some reason. Okay, okay, all right. Stab, 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 please stab, stab. I have a third one for good measure. Are you down? Holy shit. Okay, I am, I am done with that cave. I don't want to be in there anymore, but I do know of a cave nearby, and there's a golf cart out here, which is pretty good. Um, where we can find ourselves some supplies, like food and drink, because, you know, we, we need to get some more stuff, but there is a cave nearby that's got some in it. Honk honk, look out, buddy, coming through, reckless driver, oh, squ- oh my god, I took his leg off. Oh my god. Oh, he didn't see me coming at all. Enter if you dare, I've- I've already had some scares, so it's not too bad for me. So yeah, not too far inside the cave here is our hatch, and I'm gonna open it up. Food and drinking, perfect. It's like a dining hall area, and it's gonna have some clean water and everything that we need down in here, so we can have ourselves a nice little meal, and we'll have to cook it up, obviously, so figuring out where best to cook- oh! That's a nice baked trout recipe, awesome. Okay, so I'll need to grab myself a trout over here from the refrigerator. Grab myself one mean trout. Oh, gotta put it on the cutting board, of course. Put that bad boy on the cutting board, bring it over. I like to work over here. I like to work at this station. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, perfect. And now I just need to place on a baking tray. So I'm gonna put my little fishy on a baking tray. Here we go, nice. Oops. Oh, shit. <gasps> Everything okay? Are you good, Mr. Fishy? Okay, well, I'm gonna put the fishy in the oven here. It, this is the best oven for it, right? Oh, I broke the TV! I broke the TV. A hundred and... How many? 90 seconds? Okay, I can do 90 seconds. While that cooks up, I'll chop some lemons up nice and good. Choppity chop. Those are perfect slices. I don't think my timer is working because it doesn't sound like it is. So I think, I, yeah, I think it's been about 90 seconds. Without breaking the plate, let me grab my trout. That's a cooked trout indeed. Okay, I just gotta grab, I think it's four bits of parsley. One, two, three, four. F I'm gonna grab a fifth one, apparently. But that's fine, because uh, I can't count. And, oh shit, was it supposed to be salmon? Oh, the customer wanted salmon? It was, oh, that's not great. Our fame has gone down to zero. Guest complaints. Oh, the honey mustard had too much. Lemon. Uh-huh. Okay, whatever. It's the beginner jitters. Um, I'm just gonna go- Did I even have that recipe on hand? For the, for the salmon? I did have that salmon recipe on hand. That's fine. We're still in the green. Everything's okay. Um, it's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is that Foxy's right outside, I think. Oh, no. I mean, he should be fine. I think we're clear. No, he's out of his curtain, all right. Okay, there's Bonnie. Close the door on Bonnie. Foxy, I need to get Foxy back in the curtain. That's the big, that's gonna kill this run if I don't. Okay, I think that was Bonnie leaving, but I'm kind of worried about Foxy. If I open that door and Foxy decides it's time to run down the hallway, but he's still there. So I think I got some time to worry about Chica over here. Can't even keep track of where Freddy is. I haven't even, I haven't even got a chance to look. Okay, Foxy is coming. Okay, so I'm gonna check. He's gonna bonk. That's gonna kill a lot of my power. I'm way too low on power for it to be 2 a.m. It's ill-advised, but I'm gonna take a second to look at some of the cameras, see if I can't get a good idea of where everybody's at. I don't see any- Shit. I got cheeked. I might as well just re-record that. So it's bad. How's it going everybody? My name is Hazardous Daniel and welcome back to a special video, KSP1. 